Okay, so here's our situation at the end of the Allied movement phase. Um, we'll start in the north here. Really nothing. Uh, we're kind of weak in these positions as the Allies, since we've been funneling so much into the center here now. Um, and in the center, uh, we've beefed it up, obviously. Um, going to uh, try and clear this Italian unit out so we can hopefully in the next few turns clear a uh, trace supply line uh, through these hexes so that we can move even further towards uh, Tunis. Um, I, I don't know if that Germans can stop them now at this point. There's a ton of force in this area. Uh, I think the battle's gonna start uh, taking place in the areas around Tunis here. Uh, the French have moved up to meet the German positions at the river line here. Um, we'll be doing some barrages to try and tie them down. Uh, in the south here, we're going to attempt a few aircraft barrages uh, to tie down elements of 10th Panzer up there as well. Um, we did have that tank battalion that was uh, partially cut off here, so what I did there was loaded a, an organic truck of 1st Armored and uh, drove it in to just next to the um, airfield so that unit could trace through its own uh, ally to that supply and then fuel itself and then I just shifted those units back um, going to attack into the airfield uh, try and get an exploit result maybe and see where we can go from there we've got a few reserve uh, stacks in and around here too with some armored units um, rebuilt a couple uh, units this turn as well. The Allies had a bit of a stockpile of uh, replacement points, so um, yeah, I think we're, I don't want to say it, but I think we're going to be getting close to a decision here. I think the Allies just have too much. I think I've been too aggressive with the Germans, um, and they're really just running out of tools to fight this battle with. Um, you can see the dead pile over here, pretty substantial. Let's see if I can't zoom in. Um, so on the left we've got uh, the Allies, and on the the right there is the Axis. Now it looks like a lot more Allied units, and it is, but those units for the Axis are um, fewer and far between, more few and far between, and uh, yeah, some strong units in there, and. The Germans really have poor, uh, been really poor on their uh, variable rules. So, um, yeah, so we'll get into uh, finishing up uh, the combats and uh, barrages here and check back in after that. Alright, so as you can see, the Allies managed to succeed in all of their barrages. So we've tied up some forces up here, or down there in the south, the center, and our two target hexes for attacks here have also been softened up. So I think we'll, uh, we'll start with combat against this hex here. Attacking we have uh, two French infantry regiments and a US infantry regiment here. And they're attacking an Italian infantry regiment uh, in the open. Um, so we are attacking at uh, 7 to 1 with uh, AR 5 to 1. So we'll roll for this now. Surprise, that's definitely surprise. Plus four on that. So, uh, five shifts. So we'll be at max table then with a plus four to our die roll. <laughs> we roll a two. So a six, defender lose one, option two. My cat has come to join me. Hopefully, he stays out of the way. Alright, so the Italians are defeated. Alright, how are we going to do this? I think we'll advance into here. Uh, go that into there as well. Alright, and these are exploit capable now, so I'll mark them with that as well. Or at least the two French uh, units are. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but we'll mark it for now anyways. If I can find the damn piece. Alright. Alright. 
Okay, so move on to the battle for the airfield here. Um, it's involving, um, we'll check the Germans first. It's a March uh, Battalion and uh, the Italian uh, assault gun. Okay, now this one is, uh, or so we'll show the allies off here first. Uh, tank battalions, two of them, um, mechanized infantry and an infantry uh, brigade. And we are at 13 to 1, so max column already. We'll roll for surprise, which is, uh, I think it's 2 to 2 actually. Yeah, it is. Unless, yeah, it's 2 to 2. Okay. Oh, frig. Alright, that's Defender Surprise. Now we'll roll for column shifts. Four column shifts. Uh, that puts us at five to one in the open. As I hit everything out of the way. And we roll a six. Attacker option one, defender lose one, option one. Hmm. Alright. So, to take an option here as the allies, we'll lose uh, that tank battalion. And to take a loss as the Germans here, and now we have to decide an option. And I'm going to think about this one, so I'll end this video here and uh, jump back in uh, once I've made my decision. Okay, so here's the situation after uh, Allied Exploitation. Um, they didn't attempt any overruns or anything, just kind of moved some units forward, solidified these positions. Uh, I just think it looks fairly solid now. I Really, with, the Germans, with what the Germans have left on the board, I don't know how they're going to um, really push this back. Uh, well, once the Allies blew the hole in the line, there's kind of no way back. Um, I hope we can find a way, but it, it looks pretty tough at this point. Um, yeah. And German positions here aren't going to hold for much longer, and that's going to give a trace supply line basically right into uh, near Tunis there. So, pretty rough. Um, so the position I'm in as the Germans now is really, what do we do? Do we try and, well we can't hold this line uh, if we can't clear these units out because really they're on our flank now. So do we pull back to Bezert and around Tunis and just try and defend those positions from just on the outskirts or, um, yeah, I think that's almost what we're going to have to do because Counterattacking now looks like a well, unbelievable um, thing to do. Really, there's just not enough forces on the board, and uh, these DGs are being really successful. They're costing the Allies some supply, but the Germans just don't have an answer. Um, the Allies just have a ton of artillery. Um, I didn't even have to use all of them on this turn to uh, to get these results. I've got some in reserve around the map still. Um, for just in case situations. Uh, I don't know. Interesting though. Alright, time to start with the Germans and see if we can't figure something out. Alright, so here we are after German moves. Um, I've kind of tried to wall off Tunis here. I'm going to zoom in for a little closer look. It's not effective. Um, but it's certainly slow the Allies down, especially since they don't have the trace supply into here yet. Um, we are going to try and push them uh, back over this river here. And uh, we pulled uh, this 10th Panzer unit out of uh, his positions down, uh, or up here in the north, um, in that hedgehog, just from here. Um, we did throw uh, part of 334th Infantry uh, division into there to replace him, so it's still 
a tough hex to go through. Um, but really need some armor out here. And uh, hopefully if we can get the double turn, push that river back, or push these guys back over the river, we'll do some serious damage uh, to that airfield and maybe start the process of pushing uh, the allies back. Um, in the south here, uh, 10th Panzer started to pull back as well. We really want to just get them back involved. They've just been holding that line um, needlessly for a while now. Um, we're already pretty screwed, so we, what's the point in covering our flank um, when they're just funneling everything through the middle? So we'll try and get them pulled back and uh, make something happen here. Because once they can get involved, they can really cause some problems. Uh, so I'm going to do a few barrages in this area here, attempt to slow down the allies, um, and then uh, hopefully do some attacks and try and push them back. Uh, with the zone of controls I've got here, it um, could inflict a few step losses if there's any retreats forced as well. So uh, we'll check back in once I'm done all this. Okay, so the Germans are going to attack here. Um, they succeeded DGing these two uh, stacks. Um, so they're going to attack the one uh, stack on their side of the river, and I'm Mullen attacking the airfield with this stack here. I did rebuild um, an Italian infantry uh, regiment this turn as well. I forgot to show that last time. Um, so they've got some decent factors here, and if we could push against there and take it, that'd be huge. And then if we could get a double turn after that, it'd be immense. So. Um, it wouldn't be great odds in that attack, I don't know for sure, but, um, anyways, we'll start here and I'll think that one over after, so, um, basically I'm attacking with all these units surrounding that guy there, um, so that's a few tokens I gotta spend here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine tokens supply, but it's gonna give me a six to one attack, um, I should have this. Yeah, I've got the supply around. So, all right. So six to one. Action rating is five to three. So we'll roll for surprise, and we get surprise. One shift. Six to one, and clear or open becomes. It would have been five to one. So seven to one. So sorry. So seven to one plus two to our die roll. Oops. So six, uh, it's an eight. And seven to one is attacker. Option one, defender lose one. Option two. Um, so the defender will lose its action rating unit. And so will the um, axis here. Hmm, actually, I do see an avenue of retreat here. Since this unit is DG'd, uh, it does not have a zone of control, so this unit can retreat this direction to hexes and fulfill its uh, retreats, or fulfill its options. Uh, but we do claim this hex, so we'll get into that there. I think that's how we'll do it. Alright. Um, I think I'll forego that attack there. Alright, so that is going to be the end of this turn. Uh, so we'll roll now for the initiative for turn 14. We'll roll for weather first. And we have a mud turn. Okay. Hmm. These damn mud turns really s switch things up. It's crazy. Um, Alright. So mud turn. Should be fairly quick. We'll get that knocked out. And uh, I can't wait to keep this going. It's, oh, it's just so fun. Alright. So on to a mud turn. 
Okay, so here we are at the end of turn 14, which was mud. Uh, both sides just brought in some uh, um, brought in some uh, supply. That's really, it. No reinforcements, really, to speak of. And uh, now we will uh, roll for uh, weather for turn 15. So we'll roll our 10 columns, and going to be clear weather again. So now we have an all-important initiative roll. All right. And the allies win. And they will take their turn. All right. Hmm. I don't know if we're in a position to counter what the Germans have done here. Uh, this was an important stack that was DG'd here. Um, the Allies have won the last few initiative rolls in a row, too. They're a little worried about a German double turn coming up. I might just try and solidify this line and hold on for now. Um, I don't think we're in a position where we're realistically going to take Tunis, so it might just be best to hold on to what we've gained and uh, not try and overextend ourselves because we do have 10th Panzer freeing itself up up here um, some paratroops are freeing themselves here um, but I might change my mind completely and actually just go all out and destroy these units here and then we'll have uh, you know what that might actually be a good plan um, if we maybe hold a spot on this side of the river and then uh, concentrate a lot of our forces on taking this hex, give ourselves a uh, supply line into the airfield. Um, then we'll have a better jumping off point for the attack on Tunis and Bizer. So tentatively that's the plan. Um, really anything can happen and change so uh, but I think that's where we'll be sitting for now and um, actually we just moved into January now the 1st of January. Um, what is that going to mean for the sides here? Um, what it's going to mean is that the Germans now have a uh, C cap of 5, so that's going to be a big difference for them. And I do believe they get a ton of reinforcements coming in on January 1st into the Sicily box. Yeah, there's a decent amount of reinforcements. So, um, Germans might be able to turn things back a bit here. Uh, certainly hope so. Alright. Well, that's it for this evening. I'm going to pack it in and get this video uploaded. And uh, we'll be back for turn 15 and 16 in the next few days, hopefully. So, hope you guys are enjoying this.